little bit inactive here on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to change that. We were just spending two and a half weeks in Dubai as our summer vacation and it was beautiful on the last two days. I just stayed home because also it was Romy's birthday and then also because I had to repack. So I had to unpack six suitcases myself, Romy and Marius. And then I had to pack them all again. And today we're gonna fly to Mallorca because my parents live there and we just love this island. Uh, and we're gonna spend two or three weeks there. It's so nice because the last time we had our wedding anniversary is June 19th and last year when we had our first wedding anniversary we were in the hospital because Romy was born and we had to spend three weeks on the intensive care station because he was a premature baby and was safer for him and that's why we celebrated there which was beautiful anyway because we were together and Romy was there but this time we're gonna spend it in Mallorca where we got married and I think that's really special and nice. I wanted to start this YouTube video about a little section which I just discovered and which I love so much. I discovered the Fion section at Farfetch. They have so many amazing... Actually, how I got there because you guys know I am obsessed with Hermes bags. <laughs> also got a new baby. Maybe I'm going to show you in this video as well. I am obsessed with Hermes bags and they have such a great collection of pre-owned Hermes bags. I've never bought one there yet, but I'm eyeing a few because they're just gorgeous and they have all the and the builds, they have the, the boxes, like they look really amazing and you can be 100% safe that they're in a great condition and a great quality. And um, while I was looking for Hermes bags, I was like, okay, let's see what they have with the pre-owned Chanel stuff and the pre-owned Christian Dior stuff. And I found so many cute pieces. And that's why I want to dedicate this forfeit haul about pre-owned designer pieces, which are mainly about Chanel pieces <laughs> and one Christian Dior piece, because I just love the old Chanel pieces. Like I have a dress, which I'm going to show you, a tree dress in yellow, which is a pre-owned dress from 1997, which is such a rare piece and I just love to find, find these premium pieces not only because they're gorgeous and rare, rare um, but also because it's a great way to shop sustainable pieces because you don't have to buy new stuff every now and then you can also shop pre-owned pieces um, which you love which someone else just didn't use anymore and then it's like a really beautiful circle so I'm going to show you the pieces now, then I'm going to wear them, show you how I would style them. And of course, I have a code for you guys, a Farfetch code, and I know you guys love this code. I love this code as well, I use it every now and then. Um, but this code is 10% off. You can find all the information, everything you need to know down there in the description box, and also the links to the pieces that I bought. Um, maybe you will get inspired with the one or the other pre-owned piece. So let's start. So this is the first piece. This is a pre-owned Chanel t-shirt dress from 1997 and I just love this. I was looking for this top a long time and then I found the t-shirt dress and I thought, wow, that's even cuter. So this is the first piece that I fell in love with and I'm gonna start it with those Chanel sneakers and the second piece I fell in love with on the pre-owned section at Farfetch it is this Christian Dior pret a top as you can see it's a beautiful orange you can see the Dior print and it's a knit top and I have it in size medium because it's kind of small and I like it a little oversized I'm gonna style it with this cute treat skirt which is by Milk White and also with these cute sandals by Ferragamo, which you can also get at Farfetch. And then let me show you the third piece that I found. It is this beautiful, beautiful silk scarf by Chanel with these beautiful colors. I just love these colors so, so much. And in the middle, of course, you have the black and white C sign, CC sign. And I'm gonna style it with these cute jeans by Mugler, which I also found on Farfetch, I think a month ago saw them on Kylie Jenner and I was like okay I need those jeans they are like really dope also I love all the stuff by Mugler at the moment really hard to get by Farfetch also has a great selection on Mugler stuff not pre-owned but new and then look at this cute 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 cutie this is a treat dress by Chanel of course and as I already told you this is from 1997 and it has 
such a beautiful quality of course it's chanel but just look at it and i think i'm gonna style it with those cute cute yellow um, Amina Moadis and also I just put under there like a simple white tee by Saint Laurent also all of these brands you can shop at Farfetch you just look at the back with these cute CC buttons and I cannot wait to show you how I wear it and then on the last piece which I found which I fell in love with is this very classic Chanel blazer this is like a really beautiful dark blue and then you have the black tweed by Chanel and I think it's a really classic piece so I would really love to have this in my collection. Can you see the color very well? I'm gonna show you in a different mirror but this is a beautiful dark blue in the mix with the black. And guys this is the pre-owned Chanel t-shirt dress which i think is so 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 cute it's just so casual for summer you can just throw it over wear it with some cute sneakers maybe a colorful bag and you're good to go i just love the fit i love the fit i love the feeling i love the quality of this pre-owned piece and i'm so happy that farfetch has those pieces and then this is the christian dior um pretty potato which the knit top which i was telling you about and i just love this color especially for summer i love that it doesn't have like a very deep in neck that it's like a little bit more closed but not really but just like a little bit you know and i think it's a cute colorful combination with like cute colored heels a tweed skirt or if you just wear it with like some pants like very casual but i think it gives you outfit like a little bit of a highlight and here we go with the chanel silk scarf which i just like bend it in the middle and then just tied it at the back as you can see the mugler jeans are a little bit too loose at my waist but i don't really mind i love the fit of this jean so much maybe i get it tailored but for now i don't know why but i kind of like it that it's a little bit that it's not too tight so this is a look that i would go for with the scarf or maybe just with like a cute like white shorts or you can also do it with a skirt or like with a jogging i don't know you can do so much and of course you don't only have to wear this silk scarf as a top you can wear it as a bandana on your head you can take it around your around your neck or you can use it for your handbag and i think having a cute silk scarf is such an essential piece in your wardrobe and guys just look at the cuteness of this treat dress by chanel which is from 1997. i just love it that it's so old but still in such an amazing quality i just wear this t-shirt on it because i think it's a nice look but i think if i'm gonna be wearing it on my vacation i'm gonna leave the t-shirt off because then it's more summery but with the t-shirt i feel like i can easily wear it in germany without getting like strange looks from people yeah I need to close the buttons in the back, but I'm on my own and I couldn't do it. And the last piece I wanted to show you is the blazer by Chanel, the pre-owned Chanel blazer, which is from 2010, which is not as old as the other pieces, but still, I mean, 11 years. And I just think it's the, such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Underneath, I wear this silk dress with the laces by Dolce & Gabbana, which I bought eight years ago, and I still love it so much. So very, very nice to invest in like, simple and beautiful pieces like i wasn't wearing this dress for like a while but now that we are flying to mallorca which is gonna be more like a vibe of being in the thaws and there's lemons and it's a cute city so i think it can look very cute especially if you wear like a little bit of an oversized blazer on top of it and i really like how they put into the dark blue also the black elements of the chanel treat so it's matching also like black stuff because i usually don't wear that much blue but with this blazer i really like it because it's very nice to combine it with like a jeans a black top and then you have this blazer and you're just good to go but also over this dress i think it's a cute one so guys this was my pre-owned farfetch haul as i told you all the links and my code and everything you need to know you'll find down there in the description box i'm gonna go and pack still i have to close my suitcase i have to pack a few stuff especially the new pre-owned stuff that i got and then we're gonna fly to mallorca and i'll take you guys with me how it's like to travel with a toddler romy's one year now so he's not a baby anymore so let's go and Rumi's still sleeping. I thought I'm gonna show you the travel look I'm gonna wear. I wear these Chanel sneakers, which went a little bit dirty, unfortunately, in Dubai. 
with this um big big sweater by balenciaga and then guys i need to show you my new baby bee wait i'm gonna put it in the right lighting so this is my newest bag by Hermes, which is a Birkin bag, a Birkin 25. You can see it has palladium hardware, which is silver. Then the color is Jean Poisson, which is a very, now in the video it looks very grayish, but it is a Zorbe yellow. Why can I not get the color right? Wait, I will try somewhere else. Maybe the lighting here. This is, this, this is more like the color. Can you see it? It's a really, really beautiful. Mine just go with the color if you're interested in it. The leather is Togo leather. And I am just thinking about very, very important question. Which trillies I should wrap around the Deutsch Henkel? Because I don't want to carry it like this because it gets very dirty if you use hand cream, hand sanitizers, and I don't want to damage the leather. So I always do trillies around my Birkins. And with um, this Birkin, I use like this brown beige tone and i think it would be pretty on this color as well because you have this brown here but then mandy said and mandy is the earliest pro that i should wrap around these cute trillies in this baby blue because it's giving the bag like life and also i bought these in capri and now we're going on vacation and it just also will match the shoes pretty well <laughs> But then when I wear it with the sweater, I think the brownish would be nicer. So I don't know, guys. I'm going to show you later for what, what I decide. But now that I see it, maybe the bluish is very nice with it. I need to buy trillies matching the bag. But it's hard to find trillies that you really love with a certain bag. Because you don't want to take away the spirit of a bag. <laughs> this is like really Hermes talk now, okay, guys? So don't think I'm a crazy or lunatic person. Well, I am for Hermes. But uh, I don't know. I don't want to make it look too cheesy. But also, I don't want to take away the cute yellowish with the brown. Decisions, decisions. So we have everything packed up. We have like five suitcases, one stroller, one hand luggage, like suitcase, and one diaper bag. I've got my baby B. As you can see, I decided to go with the blue to make it have a mix of the ocean and the lemons that will that are waiting for me in my orca. <laughs> um, and also now we're on the way to the airport. We are driving by ourselves because it's so much more convenient. We're just gonna leave the car there because we have so much luggage. Then we, of course we have Romy in the back and it's so much easier to just have his car seat than to rent one or to ask like a taxi driver to bring one. You never know what kind of car seat they bring. So we're just gonna take our own car and we're gonna fly with um, the thing it's called. It's um, it's like a service you can book at most of the airports, of like the big airports. But I'm gonna tell you more about it when we're there because you guys ask how I travel with a toddler. And this service makes traveling with a toddler 100% more easier. Okay, so Mary just gets us uh, iced coffee and iced matcha because we still have time before we need to go to the airport. Our flight is at 3.10 and we have to be at the VIP service at 345 of something so we still have 40 30 minutes left and we are very close to the airport anyway i wanted to tell you about the vip service or the wing as i call it um you can book it at most of the big airports i'm going to show you how it looks like because it's very convenient because um we usually don't fly like private jets we always fly with public airlines because i just think flying private is stuff you do when you're a billionaire we are no billionaires <laughs> And I just think it's like a big waste of money. Like sometimes we do fly private because then there's no like good flights or really, really have to be quick or we don't have a lot of days or we have work or whatever. But most of the times we fly with public airlines. And when you book the VIP service, it's really nice because you have a separate entrance and then you don't have to do the check-in with like all of the people there i never see anyone at the web service of the thing most of the time it's only us and then you have your own entrance you do your own security check and then they um you can get into a lounge where you just sit with like the people that book the same service they have like four to five different lounges and then they get you into a car and they drive you in front of the airplane and then you can get into the airplane at first or at last you can choose we always take the last because then there's everybody sitting there we just get in the flight's taking off when you touch down most of the times we book the VIP service as well and they get you right when you uh, exit the plane they get you escort you to a 
uh, like a separate car and then they drive you to the lounges they do everything for you the passport control they get the suitcases off for you like it's such a good service especially when you're traveling with a kid because it's so calm and so smooth and they just help you and i don't know it just makes traveling with the kids so much easier i just wanted to tell you guys because it do cost something but it's not like expensive expensive it's, it's not like pr flying private you know cost like it depends on the airport but it's between 250 and 400 euros per person and i just think it's so worth the money when you're with a kid and also when you have a husband that's like famous famous it's really convenient because then you just you can chill no one asks you for pictures you don't have to hold your kid no one's talking to your kid and i don't know i just really like the privacy of it so but i'm gonna show you when we arrive and then let's see so as you guys can see this is like the entrance room when you book the VIP service and then um, we wait here until they give our luggage and then we go to into the security check and then we get into our own lounge so we really, really chat and it's very relaxing with kids you know me say hi say hi hmm. so and this is what one of those lounges look like you have like <laughs> different drinks um some snacks you can just take like tea coffee a little roamy and yeah you can watch tv and you can just chill in here until they ask you and then you will get into one of let me check they were just right outside in one of those cars and then they drive you right to the airplane and that's basically it but it's really convenient to travel like this really calm and quiet what i also wanted to show you guys is this thing for the moms traveling with kids this thing by duna is like the best you can load it like a stroller and then just with one handle like this you can just let me do it with one handle you just take it like this and then you have a car seat and also this seat is approved in an airplane so we're gonna sit Romy in here and then you can drive him into the airplane he can sit in there and then when you get into a taxi or you rent a car you already have a good car seat so for other moms they're looking for something for summer this is really a very nice option it's by Duna.